Shalom, Chavarim Karim. Shalom, dear friends. I'd like to share a story of the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who rarely talks about his Jewish heritage. And uh, during the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz-Birkenau death camp, where so many of our brethren were brutally murdered by the Nazis, Zelensky shares some family history as he spoke about the courage of people of different ethnicities and religions during the Shoah, during the Holocaust. At a briefing with the Prime Minister of Israel at the time, in Jerusalem, he told the story of four brothers, three of them and their parents and families were shot dead by Nazi occupants who invaded Ukraine, he said. And the fourth brother, who was fighting at the front, survived World War II, serving in the Red Army, contributing to the victory over Nazism and their inhumane ideology. Two years after the war, he had a son, and in 31 years he had a grandson. And 40 years later, that grandson became the president that he's standing before you today, Mr. Prime Minister, the president of Ukraine. Friends, Mr. Zelensky, Vladimir Zelensky, Volodymyr Zelensky represents what we all want to cherish. A man that is proud of being Jewish, a man that is proud to serve his country, a man that cares about the well-being of his people and people of all ethnicities, traditions, nationalities, religions, races that came to live in Ukraine. Mr. Zelensky was elected over two years ago by over 70% of the Ukrainian electorate, making a real example of what a true democracy is all about. This wonderful man that is in many ways representative of the most beautiful stories of Jewish heroism for many of us represents our beloved David, who eventually became King David, who uh, came to save the people of Israel against the attacks Goliath, who tried to murder, who tried to uh, decimate the people of Israel in biblical times. And in many ways, he also represents the wonderful heroes and leaders of the Jewish people that when we're called upon to stand up and to do the right thing, they always said, Hineni, here I am. I'm not running away. I'm not escaping. He had the chance to leave Ukraine and leave his people behind. And instead, he said, no, I do not want any lifts or any rights out of my country. I'm staying here, in any, here I am. As he said in Ukrainian, or in Russian perhaps, ya tut, here I am, in any, like a proud Jew that uh, cares about the well-being of those and their him that he cherishes and that he is willing to protect even at the loss of his own life. Friends, at this time when the fate of Ukraine, a country of over 40 million people, with a Jewish population of over 200,000, and perhaps many more uh, other Jews who came to settle down and live there, Mr. Zelensky is ready to defend his country at a time of grave darkness, because the murderous leader of Russia is after him and after the well-being of his people and his nation. We learned, all of us from the Shoah, from the Holocaust, the words of that German theologian, Martin Niemöller, who uh, said at the time something along these lines. First they came for the socialists in Nazi Germany, and I did not speak up because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak up because I was not a Jew. And then they came for me, and at that time, there was no one else left to speak up. Friends, today, we're all Ukrainians. We should all speak up because the murderous leader of Russia today is after Ukraine, but his appetite is much bigger than that. He will try to decimate and uh, to destroy other countries in his uh, thirst for power, for territory, for uh, 
imperialism for uh, his murderous designs. He's a man filled with evil and filled with a desire to, to just kill and murder people. Friends, as we uh, are about to enter Shabbat, let us all speak up for Ukraine. Let us all cherish the wonderful leadership of Volodymyr Zelensky, who is protecting his people. And like we all say, uh, always, as we uh, cherish our beloved Jewish people, Am Israel Chai, may the Jewish people live. Let us also say, prior to this Shabbat, Slava Ukraino. May the people of Ukraine, may the land of Ukraine, may they all live and may they be able to live in peace. Amen.